Uh, it's not pencil time. It's pen time, because this is like the same thing, but a, with with a pen. So this is the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica 0.3 millimeter uh, drawing pen. It's a it's a good one. It's a good one. I really like it. Uh, I've used the Pilot High Tech C a lot, and this pen is really comparable to that one. Uh, this may be one of the like maybe three or four pens that people mention when comparing pens to the High Tech C. The High Tech C is a great pen from Pilot, uh, a rollerball pen with really great ink, um, ink flow smoothness, and the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica is is all of those things. Uh, it's a really small pen. The 0.3 millimeter is is really fine, but th there's really no skipping with with the ink. There's no real scratch to it. Um, it's it glides on the paper pretty nicely. And as long as you don't hold it uh, too much of an angle to the paper, like parallel to the paper. Uh, like I said, you, you, I didn't really get a lot of skipping. Um, I was able to hatch and draw and go between the two. Uh, without any ink flow, ink flow problems. And in my experience with the high tech C, uh, all of these things remain true as far as like the line uh, clarity and how smooth it is and stuff like that. But there is a little bit of skipping with the high tech C. And the biggest difference is they're both metal tip pens and they're both rollerball pens with kind of like a gel style ink. But the tip of the high tech C is round as compared to the hybrid Technica, which is more pointed. And I found that the more pointed tip uh, reduced the amount of like ink globs you get on the tip because with the high tech C, I'm constantly having to wipe it to get the the ink globs off. And while I don't have too much of a problem dealing with that for a good pen, I was really surprised that that didn't really happen at all with the hybrid Technica. Um, so all in all, I mean, it's a really solid pen. I wanted to do a drawing that had a lot of hatching and a lot of detail to kind of show off what the pen can do. Um, there are different sizes. Uh, I only got the 0.3 to try it to see if I would like it. I'll probably end up using these for comics and other ink drawings, but I want to get some other sizes and, and try those as well and see if, see if they work as well as the 0.3. And I also want to test out the water resistance because it does say on the package that they're supposed to be water resistant. And, you know, that can mean a lot of different things. That's a really vague statement to make about a pen. So, you know, I want to I wanna try it with some watercolor and some ink wash, uh, maybe in another video to see, you know, kind of how it holds up to that. So if you're curious about this pen, uh, as I was, um, you know, let me know and I'll make some more, I'll make some more videos about it. And also if there's any other art supplies, pens or pencils that you're curious about that I might want to try, uh, let me know and maybe I'll give them a shot and do a pen time or a pencil time or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this pen. So my review for this pen, if you like a really detailed, uh, fine line, um, definitely get it. So, you know, Final word uh, for this pen time review, get it. It's a good one. And uh, yeah, I could say more about it, but just you get it. Uh, you get it Michaels online, whatever. It's not too hard to find. But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You're just, you're, God, you're great. You're great. You're great. Goodbye.